Welcome to Mimi Math. Today we're going to look at finding the surface area of a prism. This example is actually on the website, so there's a picture of it and an explanation in words too. So let's look at how we find the total surface area. What we're going to do is we're going to break it down and we're going to first find the surface area of just the top and the bottom. Okay, so let's look at that. That's a rectangle that measures 5 by 4. So the area of the top and the bottom is 5 times 4 or 20. But since I have both the top and the bottom, I'm going to have to take that and I'm going to double it to 40. So that means the area of the top and bottom is 40. Now let's look at the front and the back. Okay, the front and the back, the parts we're talking about here are the front of the prism and then the back of the prism. So this one measures 5 and then the height of it is 5. Okay, so let's go in and write those measurements down. That's 5 times 5, which is 25. And then I have the front and the back, so I've got to take that 25 and I've got to double it to 50. Okay, so now let's look at the two sides. Now I'm going to look at the left side and the right side. So let's start here. We've got a right side on this side and a left side over here. So the sides measure, let's see, that side is 4 and the height is 5. So that's 4 by 5. So that side is also 20. But again, I've got two of those. So let's double that. That gives me 40. Then I'm going to take these three products and I'm going to add those up to get the total surface area. So 40 plus 50 is 90. 90 plus 40 is 130 units squared. And that's how you find the surface area of a prism.